All right, so Glenwall and Lakeburg Apocalypse 3 have fallen, and I think it's time for us to really up the ante. Now, Apocalypse 4 is no joke uh, at 20% increased material cost, but Apocalypse 5 is where things start to get real real. So uh, that's where we're going to plant our flag, and we're going to start doing some runs. Now, I will say that I think... Uh, RNG plays a factor in this. Not all runs, at least at my skill level, have the capacity to be wins on Apocalypse 5. I do think we have it in us, but there's a lot of adjustment that we need to get used to because 20% more of the 300 gold shop, gold shop upgrade is not cheap. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, we're going to try and go as hard on Econ as we can, but... Apocalypse 5, no joke, uh, expect some losses, uh, and we will uh, we'll see how it all goes. Do I like what I see? I'm not too angry about it. So I see we have a poison staff, we have a crossbow, and we have a dagger. Not a terrible selection. For, uh, for getting going initially here. I do think the new Lakeburg is much more defensible. Uh, so, you know, we might be able to do something. But let's get to know our, uh, our cast of characters, starting with Jared. Jared is, uh, is Mr. Green, first and foremost. I like, uh, I like the rarity of his gear. Uh, Berserker is going to be rough. Uh... The physical damage is nice, the health is nice, the daily health regen is nice, the minus 20 armor is unfortunate. Uh, then we have Determined. Solid. Crit power is fine. And then Worried is unfortunately going to take away some of the, uh, the benefits of Berserker, all of the daily health regen we're going to get, and some of the health, and replace it with Dodge. But we're rocking a dagger with, and, and a decent dagger at that, we will probably be swapping out the boots, eh, depending. Are you Harvester? You are a Harvester. So we may hang on to the boots, because otherwise our armor is at three, and that's going to be very difficult. But And actually, our dodge is pretty high here. I don't know. There might be, there might be a world in which we leave Jared relatively equipped the way that he is. Next, I recognize Inquisitor to be a very good stat. Yeah, isolation and opportunism, mana and mana regen. That is a very welcome selection. Solid trinket. Uh, medium armor is fine. Worn pants are kind of whatever. Uh, yeah, I, I dig the gear. Uh, Simple-minded is not great. Did I select Apoc 6? Hold on a second. No, why are we, why are we getting... Uh... <laughs> Negative traits like simple-minded. Boo hiss. And then wholesome is more healing re re received, which is pretty garbage. Simple-minded, though, we're probably going to have to uh, we're going to have to deal with. A second harvester is uh, is good news indeed. So Lisa Marie looks good, not great, I would say. And then third but not least, another stingy turtle charm. Interesting. Uh, but we are rocking. And Adept's Druid Staff, which is, you know, not the not the best by any means. A little bit of move gear, that's all fine. And then we have Cultist, which I think is reasonably solid. Uh, Mystic is bumping our mana regen, and I don't mind the loss of physical. And Lucky. So yeah, so I think a decent crew. Now, things we have to be thinking about as we proceed forward here. Uh, first of all, uh, Jared does not have a lot of armor. Reasonably high dodge, 27% dodge right at the get-go is pretty solid, but not going to be someone that we can kind of like put out there and expect to just tank lots of things. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, other than that, I think we're we're reasonably good. I, I'm a little torn about the spiked boots. The armor is good, but but the minus two daily mana regen, eh, we're, we're probably going to be okay. We have Harvester on all three characters. Did I actually confirm that? Yes, yes, no. All right, 
Tristan's going to need to come up with some other ways to generate mana, but at least they have a pretty solid base mana pool. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get into night one and uh, hope we don't immediately see runners because that's kind of the... Uh, that's usually what, what sinks our boat, as it were. Uh, now, the fact that we don't have runners does mean that we have some capacity for, uh, for cleaning things up. Now, over here, eh, I think we just, I think we just spend what it takes there to get that done, because uh, we're not, the angles aren't going to work out well, so I'm going to bring you over here, and just zap as many folks as we can. Ooh, that goes so fast. Uh, let's get these two taken care of with that. There we go. And then I think it's always it's always the action economy that, that hurts so much. Now, if we step to here, I'm going to have Jared come over here to work on this side here. But ooh, have it, him having block, that's quite suboptimal, I will say. Uh, we're going to hold off on spending anymore, but as a reminder, on this first night, it can be very difficult to spend your action points. Oh, that's not great. Wow, that was, uh, that was merciful, <laughs> I will say. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll start working on that in a second, but right off the bat... We want to be using the crossbow for uh, for its intended purpose, and I think we're going to keep pummeling with poison. Nice, nice alliteration there. Oh wow, that was uh, that was way less than expected, uh, damage-wise. Now we're going to be able to clean up the front runners, but. This is uh, this is what this is what you get when you start to get into Apoc Five, though. I will say, you you start to have a lot of challenges where you just need to be spending mana, or you're uh, or you're not gonna have a good time. Now we need to get you just into the fray. And I think I'm gonna spend some mana that we don't have a great way to uh, to recoup. Ooh. Come on now, game. See, this is this is where I'm getting nervous because we know that Jared really doesn't have uh, doesn't have a lot of options here, and we got We got to spend some of our mana early, or we're gonna have a really bad time. Okay. Let's see. It's unfortunate that this guy is uh, is where he is. I think we're probably going to spend on Entangle. Only good times allowed, Doodle. Uh, is that a is that your way of uh, of apologizing for last time and uh, and you're cursing me? Because that, that Gordian Quest run was uh, was truly, truly the stuff of heartbreaks. <laughs> Let's see. So I think... We're going to need to do another one of those. And then... How far are these walking? This one's going to be able to... Uh, I think... Unfortunately, I think we have to spend our last two on that one and then refresh this. Yeah, that, that slows these two down enough. Um, but these bats, do I even have... I was going to say, I shouldn't, be, uh, I shouldn't be gambling with these bats. Hmm. Well, this bat is potentially going to cause some panic. Unless we decide to root, to root it, uh, that's that's a tough decision, I will say.
Gotta gotta spend mana to make uh, to make things happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I think we're probably in relatively good shape. The new progress bar is up, so that's uh, that's good for business. All right, let's start over here. I was gonna say no dodges, please. Talk to me about your accuracy right now. It's just zero, so this is just the game being cruel and unusual. Okay, that was that was uh, exceptionally cruel and unusual. Let's see. So someone has to take the bat out. There we go. Now. This is going to be basically point blank there and still uh, still getting the worst of it. Let's see. This this guy somehow is still still in it. I'm just going to I know I'm spending a lot of mana here, but oh my gosh, we didn't even get the kill there. You have to be joking me. How far are you going? You're not that bad. You're basically, you two are a bit of a problem. Let me see if I can get rid of you. And then strategic withdrawal. You're not making it far enough in. All right, I think we've, we've spent what we had to spend in order to stabilize things, and it does look like we're gonna get the S rank. <laughs> Toodle. I, I don't doubt it for a second. You have a weird job, though. Let, let the record show. All right. I may have I may have uh, claimed success too early here, but we'll see. Holy, holy accuracy, Batman. Ah. Uh, I just snare him because I'm, I'm worried I'm not going to get enough uh, enough goodness out of eh, we'll start with this I guess okay all right we are we're now we're now in good shape so I think it's just a matter of these will die in two turns so this guy here though not quite there All right, I think I think that's good enough. Jared only took a little bit of damage. We do have one more crossbow shot. Nobody's isolated. I'd like to take advantage of the Inquisitor bonus if we can, but that's going to be fine. And then yeah, the problem with starting with the uh, with the Druid staff, I love the poison. Oh, we didn't look at uh, we didn't look at everybody's specialties, did we? Hold on, let's let's take a look at that really quickly. Okay, so we do have the poison tree on our poison wielder. That feels pretty good. Uh, wait, we have poison and debuff. Poison and debuff again over here. And then defensive and yeah, that's that's pretty much the way I would want that, I think. Uh, now let's see. I think... I think what we want to do is make... Holy, holy Mrs. Batman. Uh, okay, I'm hoping, I'm hoping above all hopes that we can, uh, we can do this without needing to, uh, to spend any really expensive stuff. But do we have this last guy sorted out? And we do with this, but you have four actions. I think four punches gets rid of this guy. All right, saved ourselves a tiny bit of mana there.
But yeah, it is amazing the difference that that one movement speed makes with these uh, with these baddies. Good job, team. Jared really uh, really fallen behind on the kills there. Yes, no surprises there. Dagger is not the weapon I'm uh, I'm looking to start with for sure. Now, one other fix that was made, and this is our first opportunity. Oh, we didn't have mist sensors on the first night. I think that's new too. Uh, all right, so this is what I was uh, this is what I was alluding to, or just about to allude to. Guess what we can get now? I think we should be able to get our second and third rerolls. Holy cow! I don't know. Do we have enough? This is this is setting us back towards having a million uh, essence, but. All right, we got we got full unlocks once again. We are we are back. Whatever the bug was that was blocking us has been resolved. Also, are we more zoomed out than I have ever been before? I feel like we are. This is like I can really survey the land, as it were. Okay, so part of uh, part of the challenge here is going to be remembering how to. Well, let's take a look at our night reward first of all. That axe is not that tempting. I think we're probably going to go deep. Oh, those are really nice boots. But that would mean we have to buy three weapons. I think we need a weapon out of out of our night reward. Because uh, I, I don't fully remember how this upgrade process is going to go. So now these cost 36. So we do the two of those, which takes us down to 78. We clear a full thing. Which gets us back up to 150. That's interesting. Uh, and then if we do... Oh no, Jokewa. That is... Uh, I, I know the pain of that. Uh, those hot days are brutal. So then the question is... If we do this, we can't actually afford to go with the triple. What do we get for a double ruin? I think getting up to six workers is the most we can afford. And then... I think now we... It is amazing how expensive that is. But I think now we have to reroll our Night Reward. As much as I want to take that action point, without weapons, we can't spend the action point. So... That short bow looks pretty decent. The axe plus one looks pretty decent. I'm eyeing the short bow. Oh my gosh, we get up to four rolls. That's pretty solid. We could we could look for something pretty decently. Uh, we're gonna have to, uh, we're probably gonna have to roll this, which I which I hate to do. We'll probably pick up the silver spear and the wand. Rolling, rolling is just too expensive right now, I feel like. So this is 40 gold. Then we take the short bow. Steel hand crossbow just isn't that good. Yeah, I think... I think this has to be... This has to be the play. I hate, I hate to spend that money, but I think that... Especially to pick up a wand, which I think is categorically not good... But I think uh, we have to do that, and then we have to lock in the short bow as as our third weapon, and that's probably the best we can do initially. Now that leaves us thirty six gold, which is insufficient to get a gold mine, which costs fifty four. I wonder, can we? I remember this helmet being decent. The accuracy is decent. The worn pants can probably go. The kettle home can probably go. The wool pants can probably go. So right now we are at 14 more gold, which was us at 50. So we need to sell one more thing. I kind of want to... Give you the ability to generate armor at the end of your turn. Uh, I think is the better play, and then 
the cloth armor gets us exactly to the gold mine, I think. Did I miss by one? <laughs> I did miss by one. All right. Uh, possibly, yeah, uh, Jokewa. I think it would be really interesting to see how how the game plays uh, from from the get go. Jeez, Tristan is already completely butt naked. Uh, I think this is this has to go. But I think I think getting this gold mine is is worth mortgaging the farm a little bit. Uh, but this is going to be, uh, a tough, a tough round. Now, miss sensor wise, I'm going to put you here. You should be able to solo it. And then you need to be a little more forward. But if we get runners. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I would, I would consider playing through from the beginning again. I think that right now my interest is is held pretty staunchly by the idea of getting to max difficulty first but i think after that is done yes absolutely uh all right i think we go with critical and we go with accuracy it's not exciting but harvester is going to be big for us as an engine and then over here the physical damage lands on the wrong person uh-oh wow that's not what you like to see on Elisa Marie. Uh, and then we're picking up. That was that was as busty a bust as, as you can get on those initial rolls. And then over here, same thing. We got a bad mismatch. We pick up the magic damage on the first roll. That's good. And then Tristan does need the mana regen. As much as I hate leaving behind that. Uh, and then... Over here, I think Septic Shock is the first grab. Oh, I didn't check. Do we have Fatality on you? No, of course not. Gengar is, uh, Gengar is a crowd favorite uh, from where I stand as well. So, <laughs> strong agree on that one. But I think, I think that's it. I think we're ready for night two. Yeah, we're pooling materials intentionally. Those catapults cost 120 now. I don't think we need a second one, and I kind of want to save it for when we get attacked from a different side. So, cross your fingers and hold on to your butts. And it's runners. Okay. All the runners must go. I think we can probably do some good work on these runners, though, this away. Okay, very nice. And then... Same with the back line there, although you, sir, are no fun. Now, this is, this is where... I think I'm going to save us for a moment here. Uh, my plan is is to get that triple swipe life going. Tribal Gengar. I have I have no familiarity with Tribal Gengar, but uh, but I'm all ears. Let's get rid of you because you're gonna take a minute to die, and then I think I'm being way too liberal with the spending of uh, of stuff. But wow, you're you're coming in fast, my dude. All right, I think that's, I think that's good for. Actually, wait, I forgot. We have we have multiple weapons now. Hold on, I'm, I'm so focused on uh, on Gengar evolutions that I forgot. Now we have uh, we have multiple weapons. Now you though, are not going to be able to get anything going this turn. Jared's going to start doing work next turn, and then. All right. Okay, so we have to remember Jared has uh, Jared has the spear, and we have harvester. So we want to be 
uh, taking advantage where we can of the uh, of what is on offer. Oh, I like the I like the tribal tattoos a lot. Uh, those are sweet. All right, and then I think because I I kind of overextended, we're gonna go over there with that now. Let's see. Get rid of you. Uh, this this guy being poisoned is problematic for getting a nice propagate over this way. Uh, but I guess we can just we can accept that that's just the way things are. And then anytime we can take out a runner, I'm 100% game. All right, yeah, this is this is going much more smoothly to the point where I think we actually need to be a little chill with mana, probably. All right, we have way too many. So is there a whole tribal line, uh, Jokewa? Because it seems like uh, you are you are linking quite a few uh, quite a few tribals. Is that like is that a a portion of the Pokemon universe that I was unaware of? Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing here though, big time. Abra as well. The whole gang. Alright, and then I think that that breakpoint was very uh, disappointing. Let's see. Now both these are dead in two, but at least this, this front one does need to get uh, get wrecked. Now this is that's an easy kill right there. Always identify, always be identifying the baddies. Now, I think, I guess I'll come over here maybe and do the, the piercing shot. Because as a reminder, we need to be taking advantage of the fact that we have Harvester over here. Now, we don't have the same luxury on Tristan, so I should probably, we're going to need to focus on other means of, uh, of keeping Tristan's mana up, which is always painful, because Harvester is just the best by so much. Uh, okay, and then... Okay, you're still, you're still gonna take a hit. That's not, that's not great. It is from you, so... Alright, no more, no more taking a hit. Elisa Marie is just absolutely raining death down on uh, on our enemies. Okay, don't think I don't see the triple swipe. Yeah, that was not quite as exciting as I was hoping for. <laughs> for now, Jokewa, for now, right? We are we are growing. Hey, Nathire, welcome to the stream. I'm super excited to have you. We just kicked off a uh, Lakeburg Apocalypse 5 run, and uh, and I am hopeful, uh, cautiously optimistic, because uh, I don't know how much you play the last spell, but uh, Apocalypse 5, things get uh, things get spicy, I think is, uh, is how I would put it. Now, Jared can go in and still get back out, so let's... Uh, Let's do that, and then I think this should be enough of a retreat for us. Now, okay, at the moment, Jared is already safe, so that feels really good. And then I think, I mean, I keep coming over here, but this is just too good an alley not to, uh, not to mess with. Now, I'm a little sensitive to the fact that I think Elisa Marie is way ahead on kills. Like, she's sitting at, uh, 63. Oh, heck yeah, Nathire. That is, uh, that is a great place to be. Yeah, 50 for Tristan and only 43 for Jared. So whenever we can get kills on Jared, I think that's going to be worth it. And we should basically have Elisa Marie sit out the rest of the, uh, the rest of the round. 
We have 22 left. We should really be giving those all to heroes who need them. Uh, I remember very fondly... Ugh. Taking that damage hurts. Uh, I remember very fondly getting started out, and uh, it is, it's a it's a great game. I will say, uh, depending on how much you have played, the uh, the meta unlocks are are fun, but they they do become a little onerous. So you know that's perhaps my only uh, word of caution is uh, some of the meta unlocks are very uh, are very pricey and take a long time to unlock, but the game is so fun, to be sure. Okay, nobody's coming in. Can You're fully moved? Okay, so we should probably... Let me see if I can slow this guy down enough. Yeah, we're good. All right. I, so I'm having an amazing time with uh, with Brotato, uh, Jokewa. I it's just it's just a fun game, you know. It has a it has a good vibe to it. Uh, it's been it's been pretty sweet. Uh, it's it's probably the game that I find myself most likely to just kind of like want to play on my own free time, like you know, not on stream necessarily. Uh, but so far. I have uh, I have resisted, and I want to bring it back uh, at some point in the future. All right. So then the question becomes: Tristan's sitting at sixty now. Jared is sitting at fifty-four. So I'd kind of rather these two kills go to Jared just to even things out. So I'll do that. All right. But everybody's at full mana. That seems like a, a good place to be. Everybody gets level three, despite the fact that. I don't remember who it was that had the the really terrible quirk that was uh, that was hurting us. Yeah, I, I think I think a lot of the builds are a little one note at the moment, Jokewa, but it's super fun. Uh, all right, so oh, the first split round feels bad, but wow, look at this look at this miss sensor RNG. We're not gonna have to deal with like any miss sensors. That's kind of insane. Uh, now, let's see, we have six. So we're going to be tearing down this ruin, most likely. And then I think we have to get the seer, which is super expensive. But you, you got to start pushing back. And then I'm conflicted about... We don't have... We don't have the capacity to get the remaining 36 gold we need to get the house expansion unless we sell one more piece of gear, which uh, you guys can probably guess how I feel about that. Um, <laughs> that's going to be where we've already kind of uh, plumbed the depths of what I think we can afford in terms of selling gear. Uh, but we may need to, because I think that is uh, particularly important. Physical damage is an easy take, and then more accuracy you never go wrong with. Uh, now, skill range isn't that interesting. Who is who is our simple-minded character? Elisa Marie. So, XP I don't think is that useful here. I think Nimbleness is probably the play. We need that extra movement. We need the dodge that comes with it. Now over here for Elisa Marie, again... I, I have to take the movement, but I'm really getting very frustrated by the lack of range damage that we're able to pick up. We're going to open with First Blood... Uh, there's probably it's probably controversial glass cannon is also strong but I want to get us a bit more gear before I start tanking our hit points even further uh, then we'll grab magic damage and our first accuracy bump on Tristan and and then I will cough and after I cough I don't think making her making his mana pool bigger has some potential value. We have septic shock, so stunning isn't terrible. I think I'm gonna go with avid learner though of these just to try and get some more level ups. But uh, 
we are very close to the edge right now. We need to start pushing back, uh, which we have not been able to do as of yet. And I think we need to sell one more piece of gear. I hate to say it, but I think we need to find seven gold worth of gear somewhere in our coffers. This this is fine. This can go. Although I'll miss the armor. I think it was it had, did help. Uh, that's three, and then I think we got a decent amount of accuracy here. Yeah, so this stingy turtle, turtle charm is still good, but not nearly as critical. And maybe the other stingy turtle charm is better because tanking, like, three armor on, <laughs> on Jared is pretty awful. Uh, but wait, does this actually get us there? This gets us six. We need seven. All right. So yeah, these weren't going to be enough anyways. I think it's going to have to be the leather cap that goes but we are uh we are mortgaging the farm here to get the the fog pushed back but there are few things more important than that now night rewards this could be something nice whoa that silver spear is exceptional this is such a huge damage increase for us I think our druid staff is already a level one druid staff. Yeah, so this is this is a pretty nominal upgrade. This is a massive upgrade, though. Uh, and it, it just means that Jared absolutely has to solo his side. And I guess if we had done that, we probably... We, actually, we can buy things back, though. So what would I buy back of these things with, with that gold? Probably the leather cap. Now, unfortunately, lots of goodies here that we could not uh, we could not afford, but our economy is still lagging behind a bit. And uh, getting the seer this early means that next turn, hopefully, we can invest in getting our gold mines upgraded, etc. But I think we would have died without uh, without the upgrades. And now we just have to hope we don't get runners. Now we have two catapults. I think that's all we can afford. We're going to need to use those. And you, I'm going to put over here for the moment and just hope that Jared can do the soloing that needs doing. Okay, I don't see... Uh, I am heartened by the lack of... By the lack of runners. That's very good for business. Even if this guy comes in, I don't think it's the end of the world. Now... You have to come out a bit this way, and even then, we're going to have a hard time getting this guy worked over. Yeah, it looks like... Uh, I, I don't want to overcommit, because I think we're going to... That's going to bite us. Okay, but that's a clean sweep. Yeah, abs absolutely, Jokewa. I'm actually, I'm super curious what your thoughts on that are, uh, because I have, I have watched both, uh, and Brotato just seemed. I don't know. There, there was something about it that just felt, uh, felt pretty interesting to me. Let's see. We have two AP left. We're not getting everybody over here. Uh, let me let me take a take a beat to clean up what is going to be cleaned up over here. And I think I'll come over here and see if I can. Hmm. Can't can't quite get the transfer off. Uh, we have a decent amount of movement right now. I think. That might have been the best, the best way to spend that. 
just move to here. We're going to need some support here, and then Tristan needs to ravage this cluster with, uh, with poison. Please and thank you. It, I, I mean, so that is, that's, I, I will say that's, that's one of the things that I think I've, I've observed in my watching of Vampire Survivor, and I, I can't say that I've watched a lot of it, uh, is that the, the weapon, the weapon selection, and this is a weird thing to say, but the weapon selection, it almost feels like it's giving the player too much agency. Oh, hold on. Can I move to a different place? To take uh, to take a different amount of hit, uh, it looks like not. Uh oh. All right, this is a hit that I don't want to take. Uh, to the point where I think I think we deploy a catapult shot uh, to avoid that. That was that was sloppy play though, to be sure. And then we can't get anything over here. I wish escape didn't bring up that menu, but that's okay. Okay, so at least we can we can help out a bit here. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna try and do some like over the over the shoulder support here as best I can, because I think. I think we have enough mana to play with on this side. I mean, good crits for sure. All right, didn't didn't quite get there, but nobody's taken damage. And what I was thinking was that gives me the ability to shift over here and uh, put in a little bit of work this away. Now stabbing. See, what what are our priority targets here? This bat is oh, this bat is so annoying. It was annoying before it dodged for the uh, for the record. Um, <laughs> Jeez, these bats are so fast. Uh, all right, I think that's that's all she wrote, but. It's, it's very easy to forget just how incredibly fast uh, things are on this difficulty. So now I think... So one of the things that I love about the, uh, the short bow is how many isolated targets it can create. Yeah, there there is a certain there is a certain amount of that that I I have seen as well, Jokewa, that uh, was n that I am not particularly fond of. All right, I'm gonna do this just to clear some folks out. Now, that's an easy stab. That's an easy one. Okay, let's make sure let's make sure that these bats get roasted. I went for the I went for the guaranteed hit there, and uh, and I kind of wish that I hadn't. But we got that, and then we could soften these fools up. But I almost think two shots on the bats are are gonna pay more dividends, and then shift over here because I think this side is now gonna need a little bit of our support. So we're gonna be kind of flitting back and forth between them, but. How far are you guys coming in? Let's uh, let's see if we can get soften these up without getting too many kills, and then all right, good enough, I think. I yeah, I mean, I I don't find it particularly enjoyable or engaging. <laughs> hey, Robbie, you are never late. You are uh, you're like a wizard from uh, from Lord of the Rings. You are neither late nor early. You are always exactly on time. That's uh, that's all I have to say on that matter. Uh, let's see. And then... We'll start with that stuff. And then... The bat is coming in, but that's... Okay, both the bats are coming in. So we're going to have to find... 
answers for both the bats. Okay, that's good enough for now, but uh, Elisa Marie will have to come in. The party has arrived, indeed. That that barricade, I was very fond of that barricade, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, let's see, I think we use our second catapult shot to soften up this bunch. And then we have tons of mana regen, so let's... I'm thinking like a... Yeah, one, one more step forward. And that simplifies a lot of things. There we go. I think that's about as good as it gets for us. The bat isn't coming in. Yeah, we can clean up all that stuff after the fact. Now let's see, we got a, you are a problem. Now the thing that we can't, oops. The thing that we can't target particularly easily is this bat over here. So I'm gonna invest our turn in, in doing the best that we can do on that and then hope that we can get to a good position to do some work over here. Uh, I have, I have no news on console release, unfortunately, Robbie. Uh, I continue to kind of keep my uh, keep my eyes peeled, but uh, so far, no uh, no big announcements. Uh, and uh, and if if I do hear anything, you will you will for sure be the first to know. Let's see. Okay, so we kind of we kind of squandered things a little over here. We should have used more of Tristan's points before we came over to kill this bat, but I think it's going to be... Uh, it's going to come out in the wash. My favorite barricade is no more. To be honest, probably not my favorite barricade. It's probably not even in my top five barricades. The UI element above the settings cog, this right here, uh, Jokewa, in the lower left of the screen. So these are unlocked when you're in your city planning mode, but this is the character select, and then there's like build defenses, the shop, all those types of things live down there. Yeah. And then I think Jared's gonna have a hard time well, Jared's gaining so much H, so much, uh... Okay, that might be overkill. Jared is gaining so much, uh, from Harvester that I think we're okay. But, okay, we, we survived again. I'm happy that we have the Seer, although the, the Seer tax is going to be a little rough and tumble. Oh, that's an, it's probably when I had a character selected or not, if I had to guess, Jokewa. Uh, so let's see. So we're going to be doing much the same as we did last time, except we're going to be floating over here, and we're definitely going to have more miss sensors to deal with than we had previously. Gosh, the game just wants us to have all the spears. We need, I think we need something to replace the wand, though. So let's go. Let's go shopping. Uh, the meteor ring is not not it, boss. Legendary pistol. I hear I hear stories of the value of the pistol, but I don't think I don't think I buy them. And for this run right now, I don't think that's the play. I'm gonna roll this once more. Uh, Plus two focus ring is really nice. Means we're means we're stuck with what we have, but we gain an AP out of it, so I think that's the play. Uh, this new zoom level is blowing my mind right now. Uh, congratulations, you pick up some more damage, or a little less damage, but more XP, which will offset her simple-mindedness. Oh my gosh, the... As a side note, when you're in the corner and you zoom out and it auto-rectifies to the center, that's not, uh, that ain't it, chief. Uh, let's push back the fog. Yeah, I think maybe if you don't have a character selected, the character menu disables, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. All right, so now we absolutely need to get 
these production upgrades. Well, at least that one. That, that might be it, though. Because uh, I think we're going to tear down this for the money. And then I think I want to get the last house expansion. And then... <laughs> Oh yeah, they, they need to they need to let you be over here. Yeah, that's that's gonna drive me to the brink of insanity. Oh, what's the name of that one, uh, Joe Kawa? I'm curious. So let's see. So we have one worker left. We probably just sink it into the gold mine to get a little more money out of it. Uh this side, this side is challenging. This, uh, this little offshoot, it slows things down, but it's also uh, not the easiest thing to get around. We'll take the physical space gladiators. Uh, I mean, I'll look it up on Steam. Uh, uh, so Embrac, I so I always go the same build, uh, generally speaking. So first day, I upgrade the two existing houses that you get. And then I tear down a four ruin, and then I build two more houses. That gets me up to six workers. And then, uh, I mean, to be honest, like, if you look at some of my characters right now, uh, I also end up selling a lot of gear to make it happen. But uh, especially for Apocalypse 5, pushing back the fog early just seems so incredibly essential uh, because, the, because the enemies are so darn fast. Uh, I don't see kind of another way around it. So that's uh, that's the direction I go. Now, Jared remains really squishy. This is like one of the things that I'm most concerned about is Jared's 13 armor. Uh, I don't know how we're going to fix that. Yeah, I, 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 I am looking forward to more of those things. Uh, by the way, how is that post doing? Because you, uh, you made that suggestion, right, in the, uh, in the forums. But... Uh, yeah, but right now I'm focused on getting the mine upgrade to kind of complement that. But, I mean, I don't know. This is all very experimental at the moment. Okay, so big XP increase. That's tempting. Yeah, I think, I think we'll go for it. All right, and now this is, oh, more XP? Do we just go, do we just go full XP? We're not, our, our regen isn't that great either. Uh... So I think coagulation would be a bit of a wasted point. Yeah, let's let's just let's just take a round to invest in Jared becoming nice and high level. Uh, Elisa Marie has never had her primary stat offered on the first screen so far this run, and uh, we're gonna take our accuracy up into the twenties. That's where I kind of declare victory, uh, and then third eye is very tempting. 8 and 11 upvotes? Hey, that's solid. I think that's a that's a good that's a good result that is better than the result that I got on my recommendation that they give you a selection of heroes at the start of the run, which is a side note I still think is a very good idea, but that's uh that's neither here nor there. I think our crit isn't that high right now, so I'm going to go I'm going to go for third eye first because I think it gives us flexibility especially if we end up with another another runner wave. And then over here, some movement could be nice. It's hard to say no to a blue movement. And our accuracy is lagging behind, but I'm going to roll this once. I'm going to roll it twice. All right, we got lucky on the, the green accuracy. That was, uh, that was the game being very kind to us. I don't think I can go glass cannon while we're still naked. Um... probably stunning here not having harvester on this character really uh really hurts but now let's see we can probably we could probably to be on the safe side put another catapult here to kind of do that i'm a little worried we're gonna get attacked from like this corner over here and really be quite split but we'll eventually want these anyways and i'm putting it back from the wall a little bit because i don't want to ruin pathing around it Yeah, that's that's where I was. I you know, I I wanted to go a step further because I think I think in roguelites 
randomness is really good, but you want randomness to be counterbalanced with like player agency. And I think that if you gave them a grid of nine, three melee, three range, three magic, like that you just take some time, you find the right, you know, the right characters, and then you can kind of build a run. But I, I understand how that can kind of uh not necessarily work. Oh, there's the one-handed crossbow. Uh I don't think. Wow, a wooden plus two crossbow is almost worse than a mithril plus one crossbow. That's uh, that's impressive. We have this prophet's veil here, but the enchantment isn't that spicy. If I see multi-hit, I would be tempted to pivot into a hand crossbow because greed and whatnot. But I think, I think I want to go production here. So I think it's time for us to make ourselves our first armor maker. It's that, or we recognize that we need a bunch of money and we go for a second gold mine to really get our economy chugging along. This is also a solid upgrade. Could we get we, an armor maker for 72 means we couldn't get the second gold upgrade, but I think I think I want to I think I want to go for it. probably won't pick that up and then now we can we could buy a little bit of gear but that's going to improve our like passive gear income the fur pants are not bad i'm just i'm looking at things that would uh make our caster a little less glassy and i'm not seeing a ton of things the scrolls are tempting as well but maybe just maybe I'm also tempted to, to go house economy here or pick up another gold mine still, even though we won't be able to get it cooking. Yeah, I think more gold is, is probably where our priorities should lie. And then with 28 gold now, I feel... Do I want to replace... No, I, I can't go for a I can't go for a base level weapon. If it was a magic orb one, I think I would be tempted. I think maybe just pick up some pants for our caster. These are solid. We we're we're lagging a bit on accuracy. It gives them uh, at least a fighting chance in terms of having a little bit of armor, uh, which is better than nothing. Because if we end up with a runner wave, we're almost at the point where we've pushed back enough that I think we can do that. I'm gonna put Jarrett here in hopes that, and I'm gonna put you here in hopes that we can get these two sensors out of the way. This one's gonna be awkward, but I'm hoping we don't find ourselves fighting too close to the base. Uh, and I think we save our resources, so. Hold on to your, uh, hold on to your britches. We're still in one-shot territory, which feels good. Uh, this is probably going to be a twofer, but that's okay. Nice. That's what you like to see. Now, there's a bit of greed only getting this far out, but nothing made it this far before. So I think I'm going to go for that and then brace up. And we will hope that I can do this, but uh, we're coming. We're now going to rotate across, which I, I think is fine. I think we we did most of what we needed to do. Oh, can you hold on? Can you if you move to like here? Can you get eyes on this? One off, you say. All right, we can get it this way. So we can spend the rest of our action points. Uh, taking out that miss sensor, and then probably also this one. Just, I, I don't think that one is going to be complicating to our uh, to our cause, but you got to be you got to be a little careful. This this bat is going to be annoying, and I don't think we can get close enough to make a a ton of progress on it. It's 
take the front runners out. Yeah, and then this bat we just need to get next time. We'll soften it up with this catapult here because that catapult's not going to come in that handy. And then Jarrett, I hope, is far enough back to uh, to be able to do... Yeah, that's good. That's, that's what we like to see. All right. So, this catapult, not a lot of other use is going to come out of it. So, let's just... Let's just do that. Good enough. Now, over here, we're putting it here so that it ping pongs back and forth over the splitter maximum times. Yeah, very nice. I was gonna say, what what are the chances that we uh, that we don't get that one? But that's okay. Now let's see. We got some really good. That's actually, that's quite nice. How far can you move? All right, I probably need to eliminate you and then I can tuck myself into this corner here. All right, that looks good. Now over here, I'm trying to decide on on pro a propagate plan. The the p -p -p propagate plan. Which I think is unfortunately spending all three of these to get this sorted and then unfortunately having this bow out means that we could have gotten uh We could have had a, a bad time with uh with our propagate luck. And then I think this is looking like the hard side. So I think I'm, how far do you come? So if I step to here, we can, we can do that. And then, yeah, this guy, we're just gonna have to take him out next time, but we can get that guy done. Now you don't stand you're, are you making, I think there, I think there is a spot here. Yeah, there's a spot here behind that. So we're not taking any hits uh, on buildings, but the, the bats are just so, uh, this is, this is the problem with Jarrett. Uh, Jarrett, Jared, what is your name? Jared. All right. Jared just has, uh, is, is very squishy. That's, that's all there is to it. Okay, so, you have, you have a lot of isolation. So, how is this a, how is that not a guaranteed kill? I was gonna say. That... Now, I think, same time as, same thing as last time to, Make the propagate a little more reliable. Actually, I want I want the propagate over here though. That was perfect. All right. Love to see it. You're you're just gonna fall over dead, aren't you? Why is it showing a red circle? Usually, poison mobs. This must be a regression. Ah. Uh, because historically poison mobs don't show up as having uh, having any capacity to move. We're gonna we're gonna test that out. If if that bat decides that it's gonna it's gonna do things that it's not supposed to do, I think I'm just gonna be uh, we're gonna have learned an important lesson. Uh, this guy, none of these guys are going very far, so I think it's fine. Are you at half? No. There we go. Good enough. Okay, it did die. That's good. So we don't have any, like, really weird stuff going on. Okay, and then we'll start with Jared. Who... Who, I guess, is just going to fully utilize the... Uh, fully utilize the spear uh, 
And then I think... Let's see, let's get... One of these guys dead, and then... Take you out just because you're going to be obnoxious. This guy is is on a two-turn timer, so we will we'll sleep on him for the moment. I'm super annoyed by these shieldy boys. Uh, they are always a problem. Step out a little bit and just keep the arrows raining down. Okay. Okay, you're safe. You are not safe, but we're going to continue to mow down the, uh, the poisoned enemies. And then, yeah, no point in, no point in you standing in harm's way, Jared, since you... Uh, you are quite the glass cannon. Wait, you were on a two-turn timer. Apparently I was incorrect about that. Fair enough. All right, I'm gonna use, these guys are the dodgy ones, so I'm gonna we're, we're not spending, like, any mana, which is something that I am happy about, but also sensitive of, because it means that we're not, we're not realizing our, our full potential here. That killing a bat, though, is uh, an absolute delight. We still have plenty of mana regen, so let's... Uh, if I do that... Alright, we're going to have to trust the propagate. Don't go on... Don't dead end right. Thank you. Okay. All good there, and now you, sir... Where'd all my movement go? <laughs> I'm... This is this is very concerning. Uh, yeah, two on you. Of course, the wrong one. The wrong one always crits. What can you do? Uh, I hope... I really, I really thought I had a ton more movement there. All right, well... Please don't take too many hits. Looks like you're gonna take two. Dodges all around, all right. Let's see, we'll soften up the bulk of them. We're potentially, we're, that's a kill steal there, but that's okay. Hey, gal, how's it going? What's uh, what's new and exciting in your world? And then with one armor left, I think we just move to here and armor up and uh, prepare for the worst. Let's see, now. Ah, <sighs> so many... So many things not quite dead. Uh, I think I'm gonna send a catapult shot over this way just to see what see what survives. Hmm. The bats are super annoying. That's uh that's for sure. The bat is still annoying. Are you... You're one hit point off. All right. You just need to go. You need to get out of my line of sight. Do this just to clear them up. Now. I let... Okay, I was like, did I leave actions for these two fools? Basically, all good here. Uh, 
These guys are just chewing on this wall, which in the long term, we probably want to go away anyways, because it, uh, it doesn't help us from a visibility perspective, having like a large wall here. It does slow down enemies, but yeah, it'll, it'll go on its own. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time tearing it down. Not that it would take a lot of time, but now I think Tristan has had the most underwhelming round. So I'm going to try and farm up as many kills on Tristan as I can. Which it looks like is that many. I'm not going to be so precious as to, like, delay the round. Okay. All right, everybody gets five. And Jared, to no one's surprise, gets level six thanks to, uh, thanks to those XP upgrades that we farmed up. Oh my gosh, that that zoom out is uh, <laughs> uh, do not do not like, but that's okay. All right, let's see what we got from the armor smith here. Legendary helm with twenty XP, some dodge, some isolation. I like that a lot. Okay, let's see what we have over here. Legendary hammer with a ton of stun on it. Hmm, an adept scepter is it, plus four is very interesting uh okay we're gonna we're gonna have some difficult decisions to make but an easy decision is pushing back the fog to give us a little bit of room to work uh the scepter is interesting but i don't know if we're if we're scepter building Yes, the the indication of where the enemies are coming from, Robbie, is I, I couldn't imagine living without it. <laughs> and then I'm thinking I'm going to purchase a house here in order to get us that third worker to do another ruin salvage. And then I think I'm going to upgrade it because we do have the one worker on our upgraded gold mine that I want to spend. So... I think I think that was a good catapulting forward for our economy. And then we're lucky that we're not getting we're not getting the split down the center thing. So this is good. I actually think we're better ah no, I think we're better off with this configuration because we could end up in a situation where we had stuff coming in over here and this miss sensor could prove very annoying. Now we're, we, this is probably the round where we have to invest in the inn, um, which always feels pricey, uh, and we don't we don't want it like dangling out there or anything like that. We're not gonna we're not recruiting a hero this turn because uh, we don't have the two hundred and forty. Is Rob just like the greatest that ever lived? I mean, kinda. A cultist is seriously crazy good. Uh, but we'll have we'll have another high level character next turn that we can uh, that we can leverage. Now, I don't know what to do about the fact that I kind of see something. So, okay, the adept scepter scepter is not that great. So let's roll this once. I was, the Ronin armor is good, like very good. Um, the warlock greaves are also good since we're going with a poison build. Okay, all three of these are good. We'll pick one of those. Then over here, I was liking the male helm. Big isolation damage on that. We also have the adamantium armor, though. And as a reminder, that's replacing nothing. Yeah, let's go with the let's go with the legendary though. And then over here, do I val twenty five percent poison resist? Poison damage, excuse me. But it comes with nine mana, which is kind of bunk. The Ronin armor would offset a lot of the cost of glass cannon. Which is really nice. The Paladin Greaves are just exceptional for our squishy character. What is what is uh what is Jared's pants right now? See, this is just such a huge increase. The the minus agile though, I don't know, or the minus accuracy. 
I, I feel like I am going to be shooting myself in the foot grabbing either of those. But our poison needs a bump. I don't know. I'm, I'm torn on that one. Let's, what's in the shop? Because I think we can afford to spend a little money in the shop. Oh, it's a big silver longbow. That wand is not that interesting. Crystal amulet could be tempting. A worse pair of warlock greaves in here. I mean, I'm tempted by the druid staff. I just wish that it had a little more oomph on it. And I could definitely replace... None of these really speak to me. There's some good stuff in here. We're out of workers. We're definitely gonna Okay, let's do let's do things we know we're gonna do no matter what. I think no matter what, we're putting down one here and probably probably one here as well. For catapults. Let's do our level ups. We're gonna go we're not going for a dodge build. Uh much fun as that might sound like. What's uh what's our accuracy over here? 12. I would like some more accuracy. That's not enough. Skill range is is passable, but the lack of accuracy is just a a kick in the pants. Um We haven't had any mana problems, so I think thrifty would be premature. Uh Vampirism could offset a lot of negatives. We do have we do have the magic combo of blood magic vampirism, but we don't have organic armor, so that's a little harder to justify. Given we're so squishy, I kind of want to pick up vampirism just so we end up good. Now oh, we get two, so we'll pick up lone wolf too, I think. Then over here, never has the option for range damage, I swear. It's just... And then there's the accuracy we were just looking for. Uh, all right, we'll take the green XP gain, try and get a bit, a few more level ups. Uh, again, we don't really need anything. The second trinket slot is good, for sure. Shorter weapons is whatever the opposite of good is. What do we call that? Oh yeah, bad. Uh, <laughs> one by one, one by one I think is good though. We're gonna be we're gonna be stacking that. We're looking for isolated targets on that character anyways. Man, another blue movement. I think we're, uh, yeah, I'll take it. Since I wanna be able to fish for poison damage. I fished and I came up fishless. Uh, We probably need Thrifty over here, so we can really... I want to be casting every every turn, uh, but actually quantity versus quality. Too good not to pick up on this first, as a, as a first grab. Um, okay, so all of these are good. The Ronin armor offsets a, a damage deficit that I know we have because we haven't been offered it. But I kind of want to go with the poison because I because Tristan is wearing. Well, we lose a lot of ac actually we lose an insane amount of accuracy there. I don't think we can afford it. Um, these paladin greaves don't add enough defense to offset. Well, actually, they come with eight dodge, don't they? That's better than thirty. Eh, I don't know if that's better than thirty health. Let's go with the Ronin armor. Since you are wearing nothing, and then these have critical on them. For now, I want to keep the dodge up over there, so we'll put that there. We're still missing a chest piece for, for Tristan. But I don't know that I saw anything in here that really spoke to me. And then next turn, we're going to be picking someone up. The, the silver short bow. 
would be, ah, uh, well, so the other thing that we can do is we absolutely have, we absolutely have gold mine upgrades still to do. Uh, this one is so big. I keep I keep investing in economy when I probably should be uh, investing in other things, but you uh, you gotta spend money to make money, and then fourteen gold we're not gonna be able to do much with, and then we probably could we could probably tuck like another ballista like over here or something, just in case. This will potentially get destroyed by Chrysella is the only problem. Maybe I'll put it here. I think it's relatively safe here. Okay. All right. We we don't see runners on the menu, which is always merciful. I think this is the better side to have Tristan on, and we're gonna. Where which sensors are we gonna work on? You're gonna be over here, I guess. Try and clear this out immediately. You're gonna clear this out, and maybe also try and clear this one out, and then we'll be good. I don't think we're gonna need to do that one, but it will. It only time will tell. Have the sensors leveled up? Yeah, two fifty. Okay. All right, night number five. Here we go. Okay, it looks like this wave is relatively centered. Uh, no, it's not. It's biased this way, which is unfortunate. Uh, how much does this hit for? Okay, I think we need to. I think we need to start with this one. I'm not excited to see these guys, uh, in case uh, in case anyone was like, "Oh, such good news! We have uh, <laughs> we have these dudes." No, we do not. We do not like these dudes. Uh, oh man, I don't know. Can I spend the actions on this? Yeah. Okay. Archers is archers is very bad though. Um, So let's see, if I move to here, that's five of my movement points. I can take out this guy and then move to here and then probably take out that guy, so. Really? That was so much less than I was expecting that to do. Um, okay, well, I guess we'll have to wait for next time. Now, we're hoping that this just works its magic. Uh, that was kind of like half of what I hoped. These guys just have a ton of hit points. Okay, we're gonna have to do more. Uh, this first turn is always a little rough. Uh, for obvious reasons. But so far, no archers over there. This bat is gonna be a little annoying. This guy is gonna be very annoying. That is absolutely foul. Um, <laughs> This this is gonna be a this is gonna be a nasty one. Um, hmm. Yeah. I, okay. I think this side. Oh yeah, we're we're in a bit of a bad way. Uh. Our poison just doesn't do enough right now. That's the thing that I'm concerned about. Uh, how did this guy dodge that bullet? That was... Uh,
So I think I think this side needs the help more because this is like this is a really awkward setup right here. Uh, but I want to give. I'm like I'm caught in this this middle ground where, okay, if I take one step this way, I can put that over there, which is at least a, a start. And that that proc through third eye. Which I don't think I have another way to get this. No, I don't have another way to get that regardless. Uh, those are not worth. Hmm. We could take these three out, but I don't think... I, I'm worried this guy's going to come in and, and shoot something precious. Uh, archers are always tough, um, but I think that's the turn. Okay. Now, this this not being dead, it that really hurts. Uh, I probably could have done the math on that one. But I think I think sometimes you just miss your breakpoints. Uh, these should all die. Now these two, I think I think I drop this back here and hope that it goes this way. All right, that was good. But then that that bat is going to be a problem next turn. Okay. I I have a suspicion. Well, that seems almost wasteful, but I think it's probably worth uh worth doing. Um, I don't like how exposed I've left myself over here, but maybe we can maybe we can do a bit of work on that. Okay, I need to be careful. If I move to here, then I still have two actions left, so I can move back to here. So I think I do that, and then, and then I'm, gonna, I'm just kind of searching for anything that will lessen the uh, the number of things that are going to get hands on on Jared uh, but we're almost out of stuff can't get those two we could slow these down which would let us go a little harder So that has a snare component, but that means we can step one more this way, which I think opens up the possibility of getting that kill. Yeah, I think that was, I think that was worth it. And then the bats are just going to go by; they're not going to reach anything crucial. And Jared hopefully can just rebound after that. How are we doing on catapults? We're doing good on catapults. Okay, that was that was not uh, not no damage. Oh my gosh, I just noticed <laughs> Elisa Marie wearing the trench coat with no pants uh, looks like a proper uh, proper streaker. <laughs> Too much. Let's see. Okay. One step back gets us that one. Then that looks like a good. I'm gonna. This is we're wasting some XP here, but I think uh, 
We just need to we need to lessen the the quantity of bad. This this feels a little wasteful. Just to slow slow them down. And then anytime we can remove an archer from the equation, that's probably good. Yeah, that seems decent. Any chance this is... Wow, good range on this. All right, I think not having these two potentially in the mix is good. Now over here, how worried am I about this? Moderately? Oops. So if I do this, I can do one, two, one, one. This should zero him out. I'm watching. I'm watching my mana though too here. Uh, okay, and that's unfortunate. But we can fix it after the fact. Still have a little bit of time. I think, yeah, nobody's getting nobody's getting meleeed this turn, so I think we're probably okay. The minus move is annoying there, but. Ooh, you are now in a truly terrible position. But I think we can we can snipe you with a with another side's catapult. That's good. All right. I think I think we're also getting to the point where. Yeah, where things are starting to... Okay, we need to move up one to do that. And then I think we'll probably just do that. My, my goal right now is to potentially get the transfer going on our ranged character over to the other side. We, we want to do it in a way where... We're not going to get a lot of action economy value on this one, so I just want to kind of spend most of my action points, but leave enough that that should proc third eye, which gives us... I hate that. <laughs> That's the worst feeling, uh, but we'll do this. That's our turn there. Let's see, we have three points left. You're almost coming all the way in, aren't you? Let's do that for one, just to try and accelerate. Oh, that really didn't, that really wasn't it. Um, now, do we, we don't have bee stings left, but I think we need to come over here and just, oops, stop these guys. And then is there any way That's some small, some solace can be gained from that. And then I guess we'll just do this to just try and take the pressure off. And that's, uh, that's almost the turn. We could technically clear this out even just a little more. Yeah, getting rid of this, uh, this guy is probably worth it. Okay, we're gonna have to do a ton of work on these next turn. Thank you for the follow, follow uh, Ducky. Much appreciated. Okay, jump over here. And then we just have to, just have to do some work on these fools.
Can't get this guy. Can I? There's a there's a little gap there. That's beautiful. Uh, all right. Don't say I didn't try, but now it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be a bees for these two, and then unfortunately these two are messy. And ooh, that's that's my mana pool being empty. That's uh, that's suboptimal, to be sure. Well, maybe we can take these guys down due to their, uh... I was gonna say due to the fact that they're debuffed, but that was, uh... Ooh. There it goes. There goes all, all of our mana. We're gonna have to get a temple for those ones, I think, unfortunately. Okay, Jared did good work there. You're not taking a hit. We do still have one of these. Can I, uh... Is there any way that I can use this that doesn't hit the bat also? All right, whatever. A little bit of XP is not the end of the world to lose, but we'll soften them up that way. So we got this one in the bag. It was a little... A little messy. Just stole three mana from us. We didn't even have three mana. Uh... Is this guy gonna kill this next turn? He is. Ugh. Hate, I hate losing that. I don't know if we can... This one's not gonna have a shot, though. No, unfortunately. Yeah, there's sort of no way we could save this wall without, uh, without other bad things happening, so. I can't believe we spent all the mana. It goes to show how uh, expensive Magic Missile is. Maybe this guy will run around and not break my wall. He broke my wall. Oh. I am not heartened by the fact that we have someone who's out of mana. Um, to be sure. But the gold that's coming in is is feeling pretty good. Uh, always be pushing back that fog. That's the, the only thing that's keeping us alive right now. Let's look at what we got going on here. We could probably do with the Paladin's Greaves now. I think that's probably good. We might reroll that one, though. This is a definite reroll. Yeah. Hammer, a sledgehammer four, I is a is an insta lock, I think. Uh, yeah, and then I don't know if these paladins greaves are worth locking for. The cracked crystal with the hammer is quite nice. Um, we haven't picked up any skill range yet. Are we picked up one skill range? I think. Yeah, I think we grab this. To go with the sledge, that's just that's just big for uh, for here. I'm gonna miss the dagger for sure, but that's uh, that's just the way it is. Then the shield, someone can take it. These are both just for sale. Oh, game. Why you gotta be this way? That's really hard to say no to, but let's see. Let's see what the inn has on offer. Is this, is this Julia Gulia? <laughs> uh, a wildling who is chubby and discreet. Not good. Then we have Durand, who historically has been quite strong for us. So wait a second. Many of our characters are picking up negative things. I thought that was mostly a, mostly a at the next stage of things thing. Uh, level five isn't terrible, but what I'm thinking about is 
That hand crossbow is quite solid. And getting getting a hand crossbow on someone with harvester is pretty insane. Also, this master's orb is pretty amazing as well. Um, this may be a turn where we where we spend uh, we spend on equipment. Right, this is the upgraded one, right? Yeah. Is this one upgraded yet? No. For 45, we can make it that. I don't think... Do we have a two spot to tear down? Well, we have some We have some one spots. So I think we do that. We do that. And we do that. And we just kind of see where we end up. Which is... We have a boatload of cash. Which is good. We need a boatload of cash. Uh... So, Durand has Blood Magic, Smoker, and Demonic Blood. Smoker's crappy. Uh, does have the Poison Tree. Or we have a Wildling. This one, this one is just bad. And the reroll is too expensive. But we have 240. We almost have enough to afford her and then both the weapon upgrades that I want to get. Which are these two. I think I think it is time it is time for a pivot. Uh, it's just too good not to take, and then that's just too good not to take. That leaves us at 201, which was enough to pick up Durand, who unfortunately is a smoker, which makes him very hard to utilize. But demonic blood is not terrible. This is this is difficult. Um, I think we gotta just bite the bullet and do it. Uh, we gotta we gotta get someone else in since we're on we're on a split rat run right now, and I think Elisa Marie is gonna be pretty strong, so maybe Duran can do the rest, and then Tristan and Jared can can do work over here, uh, but. Something like that. We already have three over there, so I think three and three is good. We're effectively broke, but let's let's see what we pick up. Big physical damage increase feels good for Jared. Crit's not that high, so I don't think that's a play. What's your accuracy at? 12? Show me accuracy. And then... Uh, Head-on is good, but we aren't that mobile. Our, our crit is pretty low. Do we have a way to activate Bully reliably? I don't really think so. We have steady aim. We did have... Oh, we do have longer weapons. Let's pick up longer weapons. That'll be so good with the sledge. Uh, oh, I didn't check. Do you have initiator? You don't have initiator. Uh, that might that might cost us uh, a thing. It cost us something, but we'll we'll fish for multi-hit back here. Isolation is also good for us, though. Runic gift has future potential. Um, I think we I think we go glass cannon now, though. We're gonna be flying a little close to the sun to be sure. Uh, I'll just take the magic damage, and we still have so many problems with mana. I um, guess we need to go thrifty here, because the, the mana problems have, have cre crept in, uh, to say the least. And now Durand, we're looking for magic damage. We'd settle for crit, but I don't think we're excited about it. Movement points are going to be important because he's the slowest character ever. 
Um, I think we, we gotta go damage. We gotta go crit. We need some accuracy. Oh, I didn't check if he has harvester. No harvester either. Woof. With nine base. We gotta pump that up. And crit is passable. So 30% crit power doesn't seem too bad. Uh, this is plus 14 mana. I never take this. Are we going second poison person? We might be. But for now, let's let's do that. At least it, it increases maximum mana. Uh, we need nimbleness just so that his movement isn't horrifically awful. Um, Do we commit to poison build? We have five gold. How much is the, do we have a poison staff in here for 18? We're probably gonna sell to get to that. Sorry, Duran, you're about to, you're about to get stripped down, my friend. That's eight. We have five, so we're at 13. That's 18, that gets, that gets him a second weapon, but, uh, don't expect him to be tanking any hits anytime soon. <laughs> um, the the aggressive plays you have to make. What were these boots anyways? A little bit of dodge, you'll probably need it. Uh, okay, now we can invest in septic shock. And probably quantity versus quality. All right, but our poison damage is, is bad um, on them. Now, I think this time the sensor are, we're get, we got pretty unlucky on sensors this time. So I think this is gonna be an interesting one. I'm gonna keep people relatively far back. I think this is relatively safe though. Uh, and you can probably be like here. How far do runners run? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wanna say they go nine, so. I'm actually gonna go here and uh, and we'll be taking it out with some power shots is the plan. Well, power shots don't require uh, horizontal line of sight. So I'll probably do something like this and maybe, I think this is safe. If anyone takes a hit, I will, uh, I will be filled with sadness and regret and things, but. All right, I think that's it.